Recovering from a surgery or injury can be a difficult task. Many patients' muscles need help regaining strength and function. Neuromuscular electrical stimulation, or NMES, is a way to help increased range of motion or muscle re-education. NMES devices send an electrical signal to your muscles, causing them to contract. This helps you to activate your muscles. Millions of patients around the world have used MP products to help them recover from injury or surgery. Your doctor has prescribed this device to help you improve your recovery. Your clinician may have provided this device to you directly at the clinic or had the device mailed directly to your home. Always follow your clinician's instructions for using this device. The MP Phoenix is designed to make your NMES therapy simple and easy. This video will walk you through the basic steps to set up and use your device properly. Before using the device, it is important to read instructions for use, warnings, precautions, and contraindications found in your user manual. This device is intended for use under the direction of a healthcare provider. Your healthcare provider may provide specific recommendations for use depending on your condition. To begin using the MP Phoenix, remove all components from the box. Included in the box is the Phoenix device, a belt clip for the device, two lead wires, two packages of electrodes, batteries, a battery charger, the device's instructions for use, a soft case for the device, an envelope titled Patient Information. Remove the battery cover on the back of the device by sliding it downward. Insert the batteries as indicated on the interior of the battery case. Replace the battery cover by sliding it upward until it clicks into place. If you wish to use the belt clip, attach it to the device. Your doctor may have prescribed the MP Phoenix conductive garment for your thigh in addition to the MP Phoenix device. This garment is intended to improve the ease of use in applying this therapy. To begin, wash and dry the skin on your thigh where you will place the garment. Then, lay the garment face down on a flat surface with the metal studs facing up. Remove the thin blue plastic liner on the grid side of the electrode and dispose of the liner. Place the electrodes grid side down within the proper outline of the garment. Press down firmly to ensure the electrode adheres. If you are using the garment to treat your right leg, place the two smaller electrodes in the gray outlines labeled right electrode placement. If you are using the garment to treat your left leg, place the two smaller electrodes in the outlines labeled left electrode placement. For both the right and left leg treatment, place the larger electrode within the larger gray-white dashed outline. You should always use all three electrodes on the garment. Once the electrodes are in place, remove the clear plastic lining from the face of the electrodes and save it. Now place the garment on your thigh. The two smaller electrodes should be placed over the muscles just to the right and left above your knee with the larger electrode toward the middle or upper portion of your thigh. The far end of the garment should be just above your kneecap and the white MP logo should be facing you and approximately centered on your thigh. Once the garment is in the proper place, press down gently on the garment to ensure that the electrodes adhere to your skin. Next, take the straps and wrap them around the underside of your thigh to secure the garment snugly. Now that the garment is in place, you can connect the device. Take the connector wire that came with the garment. Insert the plastic end into the port on the garment. The plastic end should slide into place and click when it is fully engaged. Connect the conductive garment to your device by pressing the plugs on the lead wire into the ports on top of the device. Press down to ensure that the plug is inserted all the way. You should only use the conductive garment with device programs P1 or P2. To use device programs P3 or P4, you should use the lead wires and electrodes provided with the device. When using electrodes, 
We recommend you wash and dry the skin on your thigh where the electrodes will be placed. Remove the electrodes from their packaging and take off the plastic liner. Place the electrodes on your skin as directed by your healthcare provider. Electrode placement will vary for different programs on the device. With the device still powered off, connect lead wires by inserting the pin of the lead wire into the electrode tails. Follow the instructions from your clinician for placement of the black and red lead wires. Ensure that all electrodes are in contact with your skin. Connect the electrodes to your MP Phoenix device by pressing the plug on the end of the lead wires into the ports on the top of the device. Press down to ensure that the plug is inserted all the way. Once the device is connected, turn it on by pressing the power button in the upper middle of the device. There are four programs on the MP Phoenix device. Navigate the device to the program prescribed to you by your healthcare provider. Program 1, or P1, is a neuromuscular electrical stimulation program designed to generate a more moderate muscle contraction. Program 2, or P2, is a neuromuscular electrical stimulation program designed to generate a stronger muscle contraction. Program 3, or P3, is a transcutaneous electrical stimulation program intended to help manage localized pain. Program 4, or P4, is a pulsed direct current program designed to help increase local blood circulation. When the device is set to the program prescribed to you by your healthcare provider, increase each channel's intensity by pressing the up arrow button to begin therapy. Once you increase the intensity on the device, you will not be able to change programs until you have decreased the intensity to zero again. To reduce the intensity, press the down arrow button. To pause therapy, quickly press the power button one time. To power the device down, press the power button again. As a safety measure, once you have left the intensity at a level for more than 10 seconds, the intensity will lock and cannot be increased. You will see a lock symbol appear on the screen when this feature is in effect. To unlock the intensity, first press the down arrow button. The lock symbol will disappear and you can now increase the intensity. The device will display your treatment time during therapy. For an explanation of the other symbols on the device screen, consult your instructions for use manual. When your therapy is complete, power the device down by pressing and holding the power button. Storage. When you have completed your therapy, turn the device off and disconnect it from the lead wires. Remove the lead wires from the electrodes or garment. If you are using the garment, remove the garment from your thigh, making sure that the electrodes stay attached to the garment and not on your skin. Replace the clear plastic electrode linings. Gently fold the garment and return it to the Ziploc bag. If you are using electrodes directly on your skin, remove the electrodes from your skin and replace the plastic lining. Place the electrodes back in their bag and zip the bag shut. When you reuse the device and accessories, always inspect them for signs of wear prior to use. When you need to replace electrodes or other items, contact our patient care representatives toll-free at 1-800-328-2536. Your healthcare provider may want you to bring this device with you to physical therapy. Use the device as directed by your healthcare provider. If you have questions about which program to use or how to place your electrodes, contact your healthcare provider.